So in the meanwhile, uh, let's explain in this video how to reset that admin password, which you must, must, must do if you haven't done already. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Clue is Dad. Today we're going to show you how to reset the admin password on one of these generic China keypad systems. So this one is by Coons and it's the KO5C, uh, but I think they're almost all the same and the situation with the admin code should be very similar, if not identical, in all of them. Uh, so I've had more than one of these from different brands and I think they're all basically the same manufacturer with the same key codes and whatnot. So uh, what am I talking about the admin password? That's the password to actually program this guy. Not to get in the door, that's the door password, which can be separate, but that's to reset this, which means that's to reset the door password, that's to add key cards to this thing, uh, that's to also um, remove access to it, etc. That's to change the door mode so you can require the keypad or not. So if you haven't checked out my video explaining all the different instructions and functions of this thing, check that out. So in the meanwhile, uh, let's explain in this video how to reset that admin password, which you must, must, must do if you haven't done already. Because otherwise anyone who knows how these things work can get into your office, they can lock you out of your office, they can give themselves a card key to get into your office anytime they want. This thing doesn't keep track of like card key or facial recognition or anything like that. So pretty much once they've given themselves access um, with a card key, you can change your password all you want. They sh unless you reset it, they'll still have access. So actually it's pretty huge. So let's just quickly go through the steps and uh, see how it works. If you haven't actually reset this already, hopefully it's still set to the default. Um, if it's not, then you might be kind of screwed. Okay, so the basics to reset the passcode are pretty straightforward. Um, you just do star, the old passcode, then pound zero, the new passcode, which is four digits, then pound, then the new passcode again, which is four digits, same four digits, and then pound star. So of course the most important thing is don't forget what you're setting it to. So in this case, uh, we'll put in the original one, which is 9999, and we'll change it to 1234. So uh, basically star, and then 9999, pound zero, and then 1234, and then pound, and then 1234, pound star. Okay, so there we are, it's back to normal. So just resetting that doesn't actually reset any of the other settings. So the passcode still works the same. Uh, let's see. Yeah, passcodes all work the same. Key cards still work the same. You've just changed the admin access. So let's try out the new one. Um, make sure that it's back to the blinking mode before you test it. So a star, one, two, three, four. Yeah, now it's back to that admin one. So now I could add or remove uh, a card or change the uh, door opening mode, etc., depending on what function uh, I choose. So that's the basics for changing that admin passcode. If you have any questions, uh, do leave them below and definitely check out my other videos where I explain all these separate functions and show you how to add and remove cards. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye. You know, having the stroller with me all the time up in the overhead bin, as soon as we get off the plane, pull it out, unfold it, and walk off. You know, literally, that could save you 15, 20 minutes right there.